Hey guys, as you can see, we're setting up for a YouTube video just behind me. Halloween is fast approaching. So what we're gonna do today, and wh when I think of Halloween, the most iconic Halloween symbol has to be a pumpkin. The iconic Halloween badass guy, just your movie icon has to be Jason. So today we're going to take a Jason mask and uh, cross it with a pumpkin and hopefully come up with something really cool Stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna work on a brand new mask. I have many cameras going to capture this. So, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. The plan is to do a Jason pumpkin head pumpkin crossover. I do have some photos for inspiration. They uh, didn't print the best, but we'll pop it up on the screen as well. So that's kind of what we're going for inspiration wise. Um, it'll be a mixture of all of this. We do have a multi-purpose tool, a Dremel tool that we're going to use to make cuts. We're also going to etch out some stuff. Um, the top coat on this mask, as you can see, is very shiny. It's very, very shiny. So we're gonna have to scuff, scuff up the entire surface. Uh, we have spray paint, we have acrylic paint. I just, I wanna add layers and layers of depth. To hold everything in place, what I did was take a mannequin head and I cut it in half. And instead of using the face part, we're actually going to use the back head part because as you see, when you put it on here, it wants to tilt down. I want it to be level so I can see everything clearly. So when we put it on the back of the headpiece, it's much, much better. So we're going to go with that. Um, I also took the time to uh, shape the mask. So you can see there's more shape to it. I actually did it to fit my head. So when we put it on my head, it fits. Now it is long. It's made for uh, one size fits all or one size, five size fits no one. But what we're gonna do is cut into it and everything and make it look really cool. I have some pantyhose to go behind the eyes. I have some pantyhose to go um, in the cut I'm going to put in the nose. I don't think I'm gonna cut the mouth out. I think we're going to actually physically paint that on. So for you guys, it's going to seem like a very quick process, but for me, it's going to take a couple hours because it's a lot of cutting everything out. What we're gonna do right off the bat is um, we're gonna s sketch everything out that we possibly can kind of to go with the image that we're using for inspiration. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll time lapse this whole thing so it doesn't, uh, you don't have to hang out with me for two hours. Here we go. top of the mask but as you can see we have some cutouts uh, 
melting our plastic a little bit, at, which is to be expected because it's heat and it's plastic and plastic melts when you put heat against it. So we are going to clean up the edges a little bit more, but I have to change the Dremel tool because I've also put lines on the front of the mask and I want to go and add some texture in there. We also want to cut out the nose piece, so I'm going to do that now. product with all the cutouts. We're going to go give this a quick sand and a quick paint. All right, guys, we're back at the table. Uh, after I finished spray painting it orange, I decided to go with some black spray paint and and put a little bit of a base on for the black. Uh, I have three different colors here. I have a very dark, uh, kind of a burnt orange, a brighter orange, but still dark, and black. And what we're gonna do is go in and add detail. As you can see, I added some holes here to go kind of go with the stitching that's in this photo. And uh, yeah, just kind of make it, make it really cool, make it my own. What we're going to do afterwards, after everything is dry, is go in and put uh, leather cording in the holes to make it look like it's stitched up and it should be pretty awesome. So let's get going. Thank you. 